This is not another game. It is whiteout night. Ohio State, Penn State, a crucial collision in the Big Ten. McSorley steps up first downfield shot jump ball and Jackson goes up and makes a spectacular one-handed catch over Damon Arnett. I mean that, wow. that, that's catch of the year. Odell Beckham style. I think the true freshman's heart is pounding right now. And it's up and just got it inside the upright. Askins from the pocket delivers deflected and intercepted. Picked off there by Taylor. Can they chase him down from behind? They do at the 30. Just the second pick this year for Haskins. McSorley from the goal line. Slant. And there's Hamler, the speedy freshman. They'll never catch him. KJ Hamler, touchdown. Welcome to college football. 93 yards. He feed it to him again. There's a scrum for the ball. Did it come out? It is a turnover, the first for Penn State. Penn State shows pressure again. Haskins backpedals and flips. Dobbins on a screen. Has blockers. Dobbins in the clear. In the end zone. And the Buckeyes quickly cash in the fumble recovery to cut the lead in half. A bobbled snap. But Dobbins doesn't matter. Scores standing up. Two touchdowns for J.K. Dobbins. And the Buckeyes a P.A.T. away from the lead. First down at the 14. Hamler is being taken to the locker room as McSorley escapes. Grace McSorley barrels into a defender first and goal Penn State. First and goal. And they flip it to the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown, Friermuth. The big 6-7 tight end just went up and got it with one arm. Penn State bringing pressure. Haskins trying to escape. Fires across his body. High. And the catch is made. And Benjamin Victor is still running. Victor cutting back against the grain. Heading for the end zone. And will make it in Ohio State. Still alive. Again, slot receiver uncovered. There it is. And they pitch it to Hill. Hill, first down. Still running. Touchdown, Ohio State. Buckeyes have the lead. Ball game right here. Just get it off. Sanders, smothered. Chase Young, another big play. Ohio State makes a stop and takes over. And they're going to come to the whiteout and conquer the Nittany Lions. Urban, what did you say to your quarterback who had been knocked off schedule and really knocked into an uncharacteristic performance having to drive 96 yards to win the game? It was 96 yards against a hell of a defense too. Great environment. Uh, I'll respect our, our uh, opponent, but uh, wow. Uh, Ben Victor making that great play defense making stands against a great quarterback. That's a great team win. You said we had gone wrong. Nothing went right A to Z. You told me on the way in, in, in at half. What did you tell the team. What adjustments did you make Urban. Well Ryan Day and Kevin did a great job and Greg you know Greg Shano just great coaches great players found a way to win against a good team. What does it mean to you to come into this environment. Get a win like this. That's one of the best wins I've ever been a part of. Dwayne, the first thing you said when you walked over here was that was unbelievable. Why do you say that? You know, we were down and out. We had a really hard game. We played all four quarters really hard. You know, we believed in each other, though. That's what, that's what's so amazing about it. We came back. We were down, never, never lost faith. You know, it was just amazing. Mm -hmm. Take me back to less than three minutes on the clock, and you orchestrate a 96-yard yeah, drive uh, to take the lead. What was your mentality going into that drive? You know, just one play at a time. You know, people get caught up into the end game of the score. You know, ever since that drive started, we we're just going to manage the game. We're going to go out there and try to do the best we can and go score a touchdown. And our defense played a great game today. So many people had questions about you, first year starter, and coming into this raucous crowd. What do you think you answered about your ability to handle a field environment like this? I've been doing this since I was a little kid. You know, God's had his hands on me, and, uh, you know, I was made for this. And what do you take away from this win with Ohio State? It's a great win, really great momentum shifter for going into next week, the homecoming versus Indiana. You know, I'm just so proud of my boys, so proud of my defense. You know, we're going to enjoy this win.